Hello, this is Arwen and Sharon of Group 1, and today we're going to discuss the thermal decomposition of Group 2 elements. Both carbonates and nitrates of the Group 2 elements decompose when heated. This is the thermal decomposition of Group 2 carbonates. All Group 2 carbonates decompose on heating to give metal oxide and carbon dioxide gas. The formula of this reaction is shown on the screen where X is a Group 2 element. As you go down the group, the carbonates have to be heated more strongly before they will decompose, because the carbonates become more stable to heat. Next, we have the thermal decomposition of group 2 nitrates. All nitrates of the second group decompose on heating to give off metal oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen gas. The formula for this reaction is what's shown on the screen, where X is a group 2 element. After this reaction, a brown gas is observed. This is nitrogen dioxide, which is a toxic substance. Going down the second group, the temperature for decomposition increases for both nitrates and carbonates. This is because the cation size increases down the group, which in turn reduces the charge density and the polarizing power of the cation. The carbonates and nitrates are less polarized and the compounds are now more stable. This is the summary for thermal decomposition of group 2 carbonates and nitrates. Number 1. Both carbonates and nitrates become more thermally stable as you go down the group. Number 2. A higher temperature is needed to thermally decompose both carbonates and nitrates of group 2. Number 3. The ones lower down the group have to be heated more strongly compared to those at the top. Number 4. Group 2 carbonates decompose to form metal oxides and give off carbon dioxide gas. Number 5. Group 2 nitrates decompose to form a metal oxide and give off nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. Thank you for listening.